infants up to the age of approximately one year should not be eating honey because they risk uh, of becoming ill uh, because of a disease called infant botulism and the reason for this infant botulism you see behind me because that is honey under the microscope and what you see is a lot of bacteria and uh, first of all I for almost forgot uh, hello and welcome microbe hunter here today I'm gonna be again hunting some microbes and microorganisms in this time um, from honey and uh, I put some honey under the microscope after I concentrated it with a centrifuge so I'm gonna also gonna show you how I'm doing that but back to infant uh, botulism and um, infant botulism is um, yeah not a very common disease uh, but it is uh, linked to honey and uh, it occurs in babies uh, up to about one year of age and the question is now why is that and what is infant botulism well when babies uh, eat honey when they are still too young then those in uh, botulism bacteria uh, can reproduce inside the digestive system of the baby um, and for older children and adults it's not a problem and what is the reason is it's because uh, young children infants up to the age of one year they are still developing their di di their digestive system and the bacteria the natural bacteria that occur there have not established yet so if uh, the baby now eats those clostridia bacteria from honey then there is a possibility that they start to reproduce inside the, the baby's digestive system and cause the baby to become ill. Um, as a matter of fact, infant botulism has not only been uh, found after baby have eaten, babies have eaten honey, but uh, also um, the bacteria can also be found in, in, in soil, for example, and also in house dust. But uh, usually this is not a problem uh, when we inhale it because, uh, or when we take it in, uh, because uh, we already have an established bacterial flora in our digestive system. And uh, what are the symptoms? Well, uh, the toxin that the bacteria produce, they paralyze the baby uh, so that some of the, sometimes they're not able to open their eyes and sometimes uh, they, their cry is very weak. Um, and uh, they basically you can also see that uh, the, the muscles of the baby they are not very uh, tense uh, because they cannot contract the muscles. So yeah, the baby has to go to the intensive care unit. But let's go back a little bit to the honey that I put under the microscope because one of the things that you see is not only the those larger pollen that's uh, basically those large round structures these are pollen grains that the bees collected but you see all of those small dots the moving dots and these are all bacteria okay so that means that uh, the bacteria they seem to be moving around um, not necessarily because they have a movement on their own but because uh, this is because of so-called Brownian motion which is the thermal movement and this causes them to shake um, but uh, I think we can see quite well that uh, there are quite a lot of different uh, bacteria floating around um, um, and the pollen also very nice. Uh, I like the different shapes and the different sizes and the different colors. Well, after all, honey is a natural product here, um, and therefore we should not be surprised that you find um, a lot of other things um, in this food that we might uh, not expect. Especially this uh, pollen grain here has a quite, uh, in my view, unusual and nice uh, size and pattern. It was actually one of the larger ones that I have um, identified. Now, one of the things that you got to be a little bit aware of is, is no, this is not the natural concentration of pollen in honey and bacteria as well that would be a little bit too high in my view um, but as a matter of fact I concentrated the pollen and bacteria for the sake of putting it under the microscope so we can be relaxed a little bit this, the concentration is by far not that high as I'm showing you right now because what I have done is I prepared the honey sample um, uh, using a centrifuge um, and in order to do that I diluted the honey with water and I centrifuged it and then I could see at the bottom of the tube, I could see that the, the pollen and the bacteria collected. And when I put that under the microscope, I was a little bit surprised because I did not only find bacteria and pollen, but a lot of other strange, interesting structures, like those feather-like structures where I have to admit, I have no idea what it is. If you do, then please do leave a comment. Uh, it would be interesting uh, to find out. It seems to be maybe some kind of a part of a plant, maybe. Okay, but I don't know what they are um, and I found several of those feather-like uh, structures but these are definitely not feathers. Uh, feathers uh, from birds look, uh, look quite different. The question is now, if there are already so many bacteria in honey, well, why doesn't honey turn bad? Why does it, why does it not spoil? And as a matter of fact, there are two reasons uh, for that. And the first reason is, is that the sugar content is very high and the water content is very low. 
around 17% 17 17 water content in honey and this is too low for most bacteria and fungi to grow so as soon as bacteria and fungi fall into the honey uh, they immediately lose water and are not able to reproduce and the second reason is is because honey is relatively acidic honey has a pH of around 4 which is uh, already enough uh, to prevent the growth of many microorganisms this point I would like to invite you over to my affiliate web shop if you're also interested in, my, in microscopy there are a whole bunch of microsco uh, microscopy accessories and microscopes that and tools that you can buy there I also would like you to invite you over to my other YouTube channel I do have several YouTube channels and in the other YouTube channel I'm going to talk a little bit more about the technical aspects of microscopy um, so this is more about the hardware part that I'm going to talk about there so please also have a visit there do consider subscribing to this channel if you like it and do visit the description below because I included so many links uh, to uh, um, some other projects, microscopy related projects that I have um, that it's almost impossible for me to mention all of them. Um, and uh, yeah, I would like to say happy microbe hunting as always. Bye bye, see you around next time.